Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. I'm astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Today is the big solar eclipse day and I am doing my show Spiritual House Sessions, a live show where you can hang out with me in the chat room while I DJ. I'm going to pull cards and we are going to send off the best intention live during the eclipse. I'm going to do it at 1 p.m. Pacific at my website spiritualdancemusic.com. Hope to see you live in the chat room. And before we take a look at those planets, let's take a look at the Leo King Planet Energy Meter to see what the energy is for this special solar eclipse. And the energy that I picked is extreme, of course, very rare event happening today, a solar eclipse. And the rarest part of the solar eclipse, well, there's a lot of rare parts. Number one, it's happening on a cusp, so right when the sun comes into Scorpio today, bam, and it's an eclipse, while the moon comes into Scorpio at the same time Venus comes into Scorpio. Literally, all three energies are going to be right on top of each other, like a triple-decker hamburger, <laughs> literally in Scorpio at the same time in the middle of an eclipse. This means more karma than ever, fate train, boop, boop, coming in, and remember that Two weeks ago, we had a lunar eclipse that was conjunct Uranus, and it was in Aries and Libra. So over the last two weeks, you have survived the loony bin as we had a lunar eclipse on Uranus. So today cuts you out of that loony bin action and that energy that you've been in and pulls you into the depths. Scorpio, the underworld, sex, uh, you know, secrets, hidden aspects, our deeper emotional realms. This goes into it all. This is about emotion. And in the middle of a Mercury retrograde, details on today just might not make sense. But the karma that's coming in, the destiny, the changes, and the transformation that I guarantee you is happening in your life today, just out of nowhere, bam, a complete new shift. And this is a whole new direction, and it is like one of the most extreme transformations anybody can go through, just where you watch the universe literally shift the gears, literally. And Scorpio is a very intense sign. It's ruled by Pluto. It's about death and rebirth, regeneration, about exposing things. Things are coming up to the surface now. Things are coming up in your emotions. Things are coming up that might be out of nowhere and you just didn't even believe it. That's because Neptune is making a trine to this. And this is about dreams imagination, spirituality, higher dimension. This could be very higher dimensional stuff that is changing in your life and it's being exposed to you. This also is Venus, the planet of relationships. So this is going to highlight relationships extremely and the truth of the relationships, the exposing, the desire. Scorpio is all about true desires. It's all about what you really want to go all in. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in this course. And this is super rare because the moon and the sun are following each other for four days. Now the sun and the moon are now in Scorpio for the next couple days, as we've already had the moon with the same sign as the sun for the last two. So this is going to be very extreme changes in our life. And we're right in the middle of it at the full peg of the meter today. Whew, that was a lot to get out. On top of all of that, let's talk about that Mercury retrograde in Libra about to stop as it goes direct this weekend. So that's where this makes things very weird as the changes are going to happen and they might just not make sense. Logic is turned off now, Boop. completely. Not only because of Mercury, but because it's in the sign of Libra, which wants to intellectualize, but Scorpio could give a flying F about intellectual energy. It is about feeling, emotion, truth, dynamic connection, yes or no. There's no waiting in Scorpio. It's like, bam, I need this now. Bam, I need the change now. Bam, I got to step into this now. Bam, I got to expose this. This could feel like the weirdest time in your whole life because of the way that the astrology is all over the, the world. There's a comet that is coming up to Mars. And that is going to happen really soon here in the next week. And guess what? This is going to be when Mars comes at zero degree of Capricorn. How rare. So look at where that's at in your chart and where it's almost like follow Mars right now, where it's at. And Mars is coming into Sag and Capricorn. It's coming to the galactic center right now of where 2012 happened and where, oh my, you have to see. And that's actually where the comet is hitting is the galactic center point from our view. 
Look at your chart and where zero degree Capricorn hits. Very powerful as the changes that could be coming in your life affect this spot. As the universe is gonna pull us into this place. And it is this extreme change that needed to come into your life. Is it a coincidence that we've had amazing, crazy solar flares this week as well? At the same time, now that this is eclipse, that this eclipse is hitting at the same time that we're having all this energy happen with a comet coming? This is one of those powerful days. And whatever comes up, let it come up. It's coming from the underworld. It's coming from the other place. We live in an earth which is more Taurus ruled, right? Which is like physical. But we are having to see that there is so much more happening in the invisible than the physical in this life. And today is one of those days. And it is going to change your life forever from this point. And that's a lot coming out and saying that as an astrologer, right? But today is that day that will change you for the rest of your life. And whatever it is, let it happen. Let it happen and trust in that. And know with Neptune to go with the flow to follow where the universe is pulling you, to follow where spirit has pulled all this, and to not let your intellectual side mess with you. This is about true depth. And why do you think the genitals rule Scorpio? The genitals are what naturally figure things out. You don't intellectualize when you look down at that thing. <laughs> okay, I went there, but you know what? That Scorpio, the truth, the taboo, the things that we are too afraid to bring up or talk about. It could feel spooky, but at the same time, it could feel magical. And this is one of the most magical days of the year. Especially just look at the chart and the way that it's done. And remember to stay positive in your heart, to not let darkness overcome you, and to push through into destiny by reinventing yourself and having the courage to step into wherever the changes happen today. And the card of the solar eclipse today is, wow, the star card upright. This is crazy. New beginnings, freshness, a rain coming in and following the stars, the seven sisters, the Pallades are in this card. The universe has done this all for a crazy reason. And if you're a crazy Palladian out there, because I definitely channel that energy, this is a Palladian style day. This is all happening though in Scorpio, which opposes the Pallades, which is the need for us to reflect a deeper truthful aspect in our life to truly step into this higher light. And now is our time, and now is all of everybody's time in the collective conscious to raise. This could feel like you're on edge, but welcome to the edge of the new universe, of the new dimension that we are all stepping into, and it could feel freaky as when you get on the new wave and have to come down it, you have no idea how intense it will be. And it's that intensity of getting on the wave that is crazy, but it is the intensity that is bringing us to this new collective consciousness. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com, if you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading. Thank you so much for all your support. I hope you see it, to see you today while I do the live presentation, live DJing, and live meditation, and live cards with you in the chat room while I'm DJing the most awesome music channeled from Spirit in the middle of a middle of a solar eclipse, 1 p.m. Pacific, spiritualhousemusic.com or spiritualdancemusic.com. See you today.